US 31, the state roadway locally known as Columbia Pike and Main Street through the center of town is Spring Hill's busiest road and has long been in need of widening to accommodate its heavy traffic. To help determine the current cost of widening and what limitations may exist in acquiring the needed right-of-way, the City of Spring Hill recently hired Wiser Company to conduct a survey of US 31. Wiser contracts with EMC Inc which offers one of the best mobile mapping services available. EMC recently used its LiDAR mobile mapping technology to survey US-31 from Saturn Parkway all the way into Franklin. It will be the most high-tech and detailed survey the City of Spring Hill has ever had, and the data it will provide will be a critical piece in negotiating with state transportation officials the need for this widening project. Well, the, the primary purpose of the survey is to capture all of the topographic the vertical change and all of the planimetric asset features like power poles and fences and sidewalks and things of that nature so that we can do a preliminary study and figure out you know what we can do what we've got room to do as far as a widening and that kind of thing because we have to take into account moving all the utilities and uh, you know all the drainage situation and that type of thing so we're trying to do an overall capture of all that information so that we can start planning and, and see what what's possible. Tell me about the LIDAR surveying equipment and, and how it compares to traditional surveying. Uh, the biggest key to LIDAR is the way it's detecting the data is basically the same as a total station, which is the EDM, like a transit. So a lot of people understand an old transit. It's just doing it several million times a second as opposed to one shot each time. And it's doing it unmanned. It's coupled along with GPS and motion to where we have a correct data set on the fly while we're moving. The benefit to that is, is it's non-touchless data. You don't have to touch anything. It's doing it all by light, and you can do it without. Uh, it's non-obstructive. So it's very safe and very high speed are the biggest benefits to it over traditional data sets. LIDAR, by definition, is light detection and ranging. So the biggest key to that is it's sending out a light source. It's hitting something, making a, what's called a return and coming back. Based on that distance and the time of travel, uh, sorry, based on the time of travel, it develops the distance and tied in with GPS, it gives it an actual position. So it's simply a beam of light, like a flashlight going out, but it's reflecting back and bouncing back off of some solid piece of structure, ground, whatever it may be. It can pick up virtually anything. What we get in the end is a, uh, what we call a georeference, which means it's, it's, we know where it is in the world, uh, data set that's made up of millions and millions of these tiny little points that um, essentially looks like a 3D photograph. Um, so we can we can zoom and move around and see things in full 3D where they you know how they compare to each other and that type of thing. So we'll take that data and do a fixture extraction process where we turn it into traditional CAD computer aided drafting um, data, uh, and that's what the engineers actually do the design work with. Um, so it's a we basically thin it down to what we absolutely need, but keep all that information in case we need it in the future. Typically what we would do on a project like this on a roadway corridor is send field crews out here and you're looking at a couple of months worth of field collection uh, where they would go out and individually locate um, the, the points we need one at a time using the little red and white poles that everybody's familiar with. Um, and whereas with this we capture tremendously larger data sets, uh, much more information, and we do it in one day. Uh, then we take that information back uh, and get what we need out of it, uh, essentially doing the surveying in the office instead of out here on the ground. Um, of course, that makes it much, much safer for our field people, um, and it, it causes a lot less disruption to the road because the only way we can put people out in the middle of this road is to shut down the road because there's no way to safely stand out there.